Hmm, this M1 MacBook sure has a long-lasting battery. I wonder if I can plug in my phone. Will it charge my phone and still have a lot of battery left? Let's test it out. Just gonna plug things in right here. <laughs> there we go. How long was I asleep? What day is it? Hope my phone didn't die. Been two weeks? Hey Siri, what day is it today? Hey Siri, what's the battery life? Wait, wait, my Mac is still on? My Mac is still fully charged? Oh no, gotta feed the dog. Gotta water the plants. Did I leave the oven on? Did I make it to the bathroom? Oh no. Hey, thanks to Ami for helping me out with that skit. Uh, yeah, we're doing another raffle, folks. And uh, before we get into the video, let me just uh, clarify the rules. Rules are the same as in the other couple of videos uh, prior to this one. So we have two weeks. I'm gonna give away a JetBrains license to one of you folks. Thanks to JetBrains for hooking me up and hooking you up. The rules are simple. Leave a comment down below. Make it an interesting comment. Don't just say, I want a JetBrains license. Come on, folks, be creative here. You also have to give a video a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot and helps other folks find useful content like this. And you have to subscribe to the channel. So that's pretty much it. Enjoy the video. In today's test, we're gonna be doing the quick sort algorithm. And we're doing that with a million items in C++. We've got the MacBook Air M1 going up against the MacBook Pro Core i9. And we're gonna see which one is faster. So here is the algorithm right here. I mean, the algorithm is a regular quick sort algorithm, but this is what I'm doing. And uh, by the way, I'm not a C++ programmer. I got this off of Stack Overflow and just pieced a couple of pieces together. So <laughs> we've got the main here and we're generating a set of numbers from zero to 99. And I'm going to actually enter how many numbers I want to run this for. So I'm gonna enter a million because that seems to take a good amount of time. Oh yeah, you, you think I didn't run this before doing the video? I did actually. and. Uh, if you want to leave early, that's fine. The MacBook Air is going to win. But if you want to watch to the end, you can see how I actually run this and how long it takes. All right, so here is the quick sort. I'm not going to go into the specifics of the algorithm. If you're not familiar with it, then you can always Google it. It's pretty easy and it's been around for many, many years. So I've got the CPP file, which is C++. I'm going to build it. So here I am in the directory. I'm going to say make. And this is something that comes with the OS make will just take in a C++ file and create an executable out of it. Very simple. So I'm going to pass in main into make. Well, I've already done it. So in order to do it again, I just need to delete main. Now, for those of you that do C++ on a regular basis, you already know all this. But for those of you that don't, this is how you do it. I have one file here called main.cpp and I'm going to say make main and that's going to build it. So it's gonna build a new file called main and that's gonna be an executable file. So if we check lsla on it, you'll see that main does have executable permissions on it. And that way we can now run it. So I'm gonna run it by calling main. At that point, the program is gonna ask me for the size of the array, how many numbers it wants to generate randomly between zero and 99. And then once I enter that, it's gonna sort them. So here's an example output for a hundred numbers. All right. That's all good, let's get to the test. I've got the same exact code on the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air. So now I'm gonna say time, because we wanna know the exact time that it takes. Thanks for all those that commented about the time command, by the way, really handy. Time, and I'm gonna time the main. Enter size of the array, so I'll put in one million there, and I'm gonna do the same thing here, time, main and i'm gonna put in one million here is the moment of truth let's execute this now this doesn't take too long to do i'm guessing somewhere around 20 seconds maybe even less okay 
The MacBook Air is done already and we're still waiting on the MacBook Pro and that one is done as well. So the final results are MacBook Air took 15.58 seconds to sort that and MacBook Pro took 20.46 seconds. Now what's nice about building a native executable uh, out of C++ on the machine is that it's gonna use the same architecture of the machine. So when this executes, it's actually executing an ARM instance or an ARM process or an Apple Silicon process. So for example, I'm gonna run this again just to show you what's happening on the MacBook Air in case you're curious. I'm gonna run that for 1 million iterations. Let's take a look at activity monitor here. Not 1 million iterations, 1 million items. And you'll see that main is executing using a lot of that CPU under the Apple architecture. And that's what a few of you wanted to see. So there you go. That's C++ executing a quick sort algorithm on these machines. And you can see that the M1 chip is in this case faster. So there you go, a quick one today. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it so other people can find it. You know, the YouTube algorithm and all that. And uh, if you're not subscribed yet, do consider subscribing for more videos like this one. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.